I think there's a couple models when we think of regulatory approvals that, that we're seeing now emerge. So uh, obviously the, the the one you're talking about there is 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 yeah, absolutely, you know, you get phase two data and then you confirm that data uh, either in one of two ways, either through, you know, traditional clinical trial programs, which I think is the preference still for most, um, or uh, depending on, uh, you know, the, the scenario, through real world evidence. I mean, you're, you're, you're going to be utilizing it if you're doing that early approval in the broader population. So being able to have more generalizable effectiveness data, I think is, you know, would, would trump anything you'd probably end up finding in a phase three scenario. But uh, the, the other thing that, I mean, is a, is a simple first step almost, if you think about it, is, is what the UK is doing, right? So they, they've created this international recognition framework where they have looked at countries that have similar approaches to the regulatory process, right? So whether it's the FDA, Japan, the European uh, agency, uh, Australia, and they basically said, and Canada, uh, and, and they basically said, if there is an approval in one of these, uh, one of these regulatory agencies, we will mutually approve that. They, there's always a final say by the local regulator if there is something very specific that they are concerned with, but otherwise, it, it obviously helps to you know expedite the process right so i think that's that's one of those things that that is an easy sort of adoption then the next step is absolutely how do you even go faster than that because that still means that a full package as it's defined today with all the clinical data all the clinical trials being submitted to at least one of these agencies uh before the others uh recognize it so uh, so I think it's it's almost a two step. I think there's some very quick things that could be done to to accelerate uh, the the access, and then the next step is all right. So then, how do we use additional data? And, and I think that's that's really the question. It's is 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 there a role for real world evidence uh, essentially in your mind? <laughs> <laughs>